count on clock or resume on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. And, and we are at T minus nine minutes and, and counting. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA test director Steve Altimus is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre launch commands as Discovery is less than nine minutes away from launch on a mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. LT, OTC, connect essential buses to fuel cells per your checklist. OTC, PLT, that can work. T minus eight minutes and counting. Pilot Scott Kelly is flipping switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. PLT, essential buses are connected to the fuel cell. Copy. Standing by for orbiter access arm to be retracted away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. It can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. minus seven minutes and counting. The orbiter access arm continues to be retracted. APU strip chart recorders. And that is in work. Everything continues to go well and on schedule. LT OTC perform APU pre-start. OTC PLT APU pre-start in work. Auxiliary power unit pre-start procedures are now being worked by pilot Scott Kelly. OTC, PLT, APU, pre-start is complete. Three great talkbacks. Copy. Pilot Kelly reports that the pre-start of the APUs are complete. Activation will come in just about 30 seconds. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. APU start, in work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. CDR, heater reconfigure, work. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. The SRB and external tank safe and arm devices are being armed. OTC, PLT, APU start is complete. Three good APUs, norm press. OTC, copy. 
This mission carries a crew of seven who will spend the next eight days in space performing three spacewalks to service the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope. T minus four minutes and counting. TLS is go for per sequence four. A final test of the flight control surfaces will be conducted. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces. main engines are being gimbaled as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. All is going well for launch tonight. Everything continues to look good for NASA's final shuttle mission of 1999. Tonight's launch is expected to be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the U.S. LT, OTC, clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. OTC, PLT, that's in work. Everything continues to look good, and we are cleared for launch tonight. No problems are being reported from the vehicle or from the crew. OTC, PLT, caution and warning. Memory is cleared. No unexpected errors. Copy. Discovery, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Have a safe journey to Hubble and continue man's quest to unveil the secrets of the universe. We'll see you in eight days. Discovery copies of Visor Pseudo 2. TLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. All systems are go. Discovery is about 90 seconds away from launch. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures at this time. T minus one minute and counting. Everything is still looking good for launch of Shuttle Discovery from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. T minus 50 seconds. And we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to repair the Hubble Space Telescope as we venture into the 21st century. Mission Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Discovery is now in a heads-down position on course for a 28.5 degree, 310 nautical mile orbit. Discovery's three main engines now are beginning to throttle down to lessen the effects of the dense lower regions of the atmosphere on the orbiter. 
Discovery already traveling 700 miles per hour, hour, three miles altitude, a little more than a mile downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Now one minute into the flight, the three main engines now beginning to throttle back up. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Discovery copies, go at throttle up. Now one minute, 20 seconds into the flight, Discovery already 10 miles in altitude and downrange seven miles from the launch site, traveling 1,500 miles per hour. All systems uh, looking good aboard Discovery, three good electrical systems as uh, fuel cells and also the auxiliary power units providing hydraulic power to the vehicle. All three main engines still in excellent shape, approaching one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. The next step is uh, burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters on the orbiter. Discovery system now weighs half of what it did at liftoff, having burned half its weight, total weight and propellant. Discovery Houston, two-engine Ben. Discovery copies, two-engine Ben Greer. The SRB separation has been confirmed. The crew has uh, also been told uh, that they can get to the Ben Greer uh, transatlantic abort site on two engines should one fail at this point. All systems uh, in excellent shape and all uh, very quiet here in mission control. Three good main engines, three good uh, hydraulic systems, and fuel cells aboard the orbiter. Discovery's altitude is 40 miles. Downrange now from the Kennedy Space Center, 55 miles. Discovery is now traveling 3,500 miles per hour.